the world will be home to 7 billion people by the end of the month, according to the UN Population Fund. China is the most populous nation at the moment, but three decades of strict family planning has slowed growth dramatically. Rules restrict most urban families to one child and rural families to two. Teacher Duan Yan Ling has a two-year-old boy, and that's enough for her. She sees the economic sense in small families. The fewer children you raise, the less money you pay. People today have lots of work pressure, so it improves your life if you give birth to fewer children. Teaming India is projected to overtake China by the year 2030. Family planning there remains a sensitive issue, although growth has slowed somewhat. Shireen Jajibhoy of the Population Council says that's created a so-called demographic dividend. As the fertility has been falling, what has happened is that the population in the productive ages has, has increased, will be much higher than before. But she warns that could remain a liability without social investment in education and training. India also suffers from a gender gap stemming from a surge in sex selection tests followed by abortion of female fetuses. Overall, though, the classic worry about feeding the world's growing population hasn't gone away. Lester Brown, founder of the Earth Policy Institute, figures that 219,000 more people need food every day. This has been going on for decades now, and at some point, adding this many people every day, having to produce this much more food every day, begins to stress the, la the, the, the Earth's land and, and, and water resources, and that's what we're seeing now. Food problems may loom the largest in sub-Saharan Africa, the region of the world with some of the deepest poverty and the highest birth rates. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.